I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe me. Now today, this 60 years old male patient presented to me with painless decrease of vision for the last two days in the right eye. According to him, the vision gradually deteriorated and such episode have occurred in the past as well and he was prescribed some medications and the vision improved he then elaborated that his decrease of vision uh, is that he can see everything but foggy or just like looking through glass and decrease of vision was not associated with redness or pain when I checked his vision, his vision in the right eye was 660 and in the left eye was 66. And you can see I have shown you the slit lamp view of this patient's cornea. And there is a grade 4 microcystic edema of right corneal epithelium along with decimates folds. Corneal uh, the edema is diffuse up to the limbus and not uh, centrally located. Anterior chamber view was hazy, but uh, there were no signs of uh, inflammation visible in the uh, anterior chamber. So it was a typical clinical view of a corneal edema due to raised intraocular pressure. That's why I proceeded to check his intraocular pressure by Goldman applanation tonometer and right eye intraocular pressure was 50 millimeter of mercury. The left was normal. The fundus view was also obscured due to corneal edema. I told the patient that his loss of vision was due to swelling of the cornea due to raised intraocular pressure and as the patient mentioned that it occurred before so I asked him that whether he was diagnosed and prescribed some medications by previous uh, eye care practitioners then he showed me a prostaglandin analog which was prescribed once daily. I told him that uh, this amount of intraocular pressure cannot be uh, treated uh, with one drug. So I advised him oral acetazolamide to 50 mg three times a day, topical beta blocker and dorazolamide along with prostaglandin analog. And told him to come tomorrow, next day, his cornea was clear, vision was improved to 6.9, cup disc ratio was 0 0.8. So it was a case of a unilateral glaucoma, but to further confirm it, I advised him visual fields and optic nerve head OCT and central corneal thickness so that uh, all the things uh, will confirm the diagnosis of glaucoma and then we'll either give him maximal medical therapy or we can proceed to trabeculectomy as well. Uh, that's the view of the other eye. You can see a clear cornea, healthy optic disc. So unilateral glaucoma is a very rare entity but uh, here you can clearly see this patient have got it uh, and uh, as we are celebrating glaucoma week so i thought i should share a glaucoma case with my audience and show you a typical corneal picture of raised intraocular pressure and it is it's a case of an open angle glaucoma because the patient doesn't feel any pain despite such a raised intraocular pressure and microcystic corneal epithelial edema can be appreciated in this case so i hope you have learned something new and the corneal corneal edema occurs due to endothelial pump failure due to raised intraocular pressure thank you very much